Is it just me or are Derby County struggling? It's disappointing, the recent performances for Derby County. It's one win in nine. It's 11 points out of 39 available, mostly against those teams around us. And there's not a lot of places where you can put blame apart from the management, the coaching structure. You look back to the transfer window and all the problems which the fans pointed out back in March, back in February, are still the issues we're having now in the championship. It's a very, very disappointing way that Derby County have gone this season. We can't rely on the return of David Ozo to turn around our fortunes because I'm not entirely sure what he can do to put the ball in the back of the net. And we also have to figure out what is going on defensively. Giving up minimal chances but conceding every single chance is very, very disappointing. We're going to talk about it all in this video. But if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Hit the like button as well. Make sure you check out Kitbag down in the description. Some absolutely humongous deals going on over there at the moment as we head towards Christmas. Go and pick up all your Christmas presents and that will be that. Now, do I think that Paul Warren's job is at risk today? No, I don't think so. Not as we sit here and I'm talking today at 12.26 on the 2nd of December. But do I think Paul Warren could be in major hot water as we get towards the January period? Absolutely. We face Leeds United twice. I spoke about this a couple of videos ago. We face Burnley. We face Luton Town, West Bromwich Albion. And Pompey isn't going to be easy. And it's not going to be easy anyway with how busy this Christmas period is. Seven games, or six games, or whatever it is, in the next 29 days. It's going to be hard, it's going to be a slog, and for fans like you and I, it's going to be a struggle, in my opinion. I think we've got some massive problems that we need to deal with at Derby County, and the biggest one for me comes from Kane Wilson in his post-match Radio Derby interview. If I can put it in and it doesn't get copyrighted, I absolutely will do. But Kane Wilson essentially said, just in case I can't, that Derby County need to be doing the right things in training. They need to be scoring goals in training. Now, that set off alarm bells in my head. That made me think, I don't think Derby County are scoring in training. I don't think Derby County are doing the right things in training. Now, is that the case? I don't know. I don't get to see the training. Not many people do. And if fans are allowed to watch sessions, let me tell you, there will be heavily diluted sessions from what they're actually doing. They'll show you bits and bobs, but they won't show you the major things that they work on and things like that, just for the risk of it getting leaked or something happening. And for me, that talking point from Kane Wilson during the interview speaks volumes about what the situation is for Derby County right now. Do I think Paul Warren will get sacked during December? I think the big question really is, do I think we're going to fall in the drop zone? I do think there's a possibility with the teams we have to face and the teams around us. It's only five points. I can see us going five without win. I can. Well, realistically, we're probably that now. I can't remember how many games ago it was that we played Coventry. But I can see us going five, six, seven games without win over the course of this next period. And then we're going to look back at the Plymouth game. We're going to look back at the Hull game. We're going to look back at uh, the game at the weekend. We're going to look at Swansea and think we could have picked up points, more points in all those games. And this is the problem that Paul Warren and Derby County face. A lack of clinical edge and giving up every goal as a chance is very disappointing to see. Now, do I believe that Paul Warren is training the players to miss goals? Absolutely not. Do I think Paul Warren is training the team to lose games? Also, absolutely not. Do I think Paul Warren is doing his best? Yes. Do I think we could do better? Also, yes. Who could take the helm 
is going to be a question that a lot of people will ask. It's a question a lot of people have asked over the course of the last few weeks. Mark Robbins is out of a job. Would he take this opportunity? I don't know. It's one of those where we're not in a great position when it comes to backing from the board. We're not in a great position when it comes to the league table. And we're not in a great position when it comes to the squad depth. I think we have good players, very good players. If played the right way, will perform. But I think depth-wise, we have some big, big problems to deal with. And that all comes from the recruitment. Comes from who we kept on contracts from last season. Comes from players who... Paul Warner's bought in the majority of this squad. Let's not get it twisted. The only players left from pre-Paul Warren are Cashin, Mendes Lang, Barkazen, Collins, Tomo. That's pretty much it. Everyone else is a Paul Warren signing. And this is why I have a problem when people say, but the players aren't good enough. Well, Paul Warren signed them. And I know we're stuck with some players who aren't good enough for the division. But some of them, we made that decision. The likes of Connor Washington. We bought him in last season. Didn't feature much. James Collins, we gave him a new contract for this year. Barely played. If you're going to give someone a contract, play them. Do I think he's good enough for the championship? No. I didn't particularly think he was good enough for League One. For us, anyway. I think he would do brilliantly for other League One sides. But this is the disappointing factor that comes with being a Derby County fan and being a fan of a club managed by Paul Warren. We have some excellent people in the building. Excellent people. But what we don't have is enough excellent players. And I understand that players cost money and we don't have a lot of it. But there's also been a lot of players who have gone to other clubs in and around our position, probably in and around our budget, who are doing better. There's players we've lost. Is it as a result of Paul Warren? Maybe. The likes of Max Bird, the likes of Jason Knight, who I think could do a job in this squad right now and would probably be starters. Now, ultimately... The big conversation, the big talking point will be around Paul Warren's job over the course of, in my opinion, until we next win a game. And when we win again, people call him the Messiah. And this is the process that we go through as Derby County fans. Do I believe that Paul Warren should be sacked today? No. Do I think questions have to be asked of him? Yes. Do I think that pressure should be applied from above? Yes. The big problem is, is I don't think Paul Warren will ever be under pressure this season. This is just me being brutally honest. I just don't think he's ever going to be under pressure. I think that no matter what happens, his job is safe. And I ultimately don't think that is right. And we're going to have to see what happens across the course of the next few weeks. Obviously, it's Leeds up next. Massive game. We'll be previewing that in just a couple of days' time, so make sure you've hit that subscribe button and turned on the notification bell. But what a way December is going to go. Is it going to be a Merry Christmas, or is it going to be December destruction? Let me know down in the comments. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.